Hey everyone, it's Jeff with peptidecritic.com. And today I'm gonna to answer a question I've gotten from a few friends who are interested in peptides, but don't like needles and think needles are bad. And well, some of us know that's not the case, but there are some peptides that you can do intranasally. And one of them is BPC-157. Um, obviously pinning it's better, but it does go through the blood brain barrier when you do it intranasally, uh, according to some researchers. And uh, Randy here has done it and he's had great results. So, uh, you know, it's a very simple process. Uh, you need a few supplies. You need bactrostatic water. You need your BPC-157. You need a needle to draw up your peptide and to reconstitute it. Obviously, you need a nasal sprayer, an alcohol pad, and then a saline solution. So, to get started, the first thing we're gonna do, get our BPC-157. These are 12 milligrams. Um, they're, uh, they're from a vendor I like. Uh, we have lots of vendors on our website from one of them. Uh, feel free to check it out at peptidecritic.com. Um, and we're going to sterilize the top of the backwater and the uh, top of the peptide three milliliter bottle. Now, the mixture on this is pretty straightforward. This delivers between 10 and 15 units. So we'll just say 12 and uh, we're going to use two milliliters of backwater to reconstitute this, and then we're going to add five ml of uh, saline to the uh, sprayer. And what that's going to give us, uh, according to the peptidecritic.com peptide calculator, is about 200 micrograms per spray. So one in each nostril, uh, you know, every morning. That seems to be a protocol that uh, some researchers like, so we're just going to go with that. Sterilized. Oh, get that down. There we go. So two ml. Okay. We are. We're going to slowly add it into the bottle. Now with reconstitution, I've done plenty of videos showing this. I like to put it in at a slight angle and slowly let it go up to the side of the bottle. Um, you know, not letting it shoot in. I'm gripping it with my finger because it just wants to suck if I let go. Um, so what we'll do now is we will let this dissolve. We'll cap our needle and be back in about 10 minutes when this is uh, fully reconstituted. Um, you know, you just get these, get these like flakes in here, and that's just the peptide. And you just wanna, you just wanna let them dissolve. So, yeah. get back in a few minutes. A few moments later. Hey everyone, we're back. It's been about 10 minutes, and as you can see, the peptides have fully dissolved. There's no flaking, no nothing. So we're good to go. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna open our uh, nasal sprayer. Now, one thing you wanna do, this entire area has been sterilized. Even Randy gets sterilized with the UV sterilizer before I make these. Um, this straw, you don't want to touch the surface, even though I know it's sterile. So, get a new alcohol pad. We'll draw up the peptide. I added a little bit of pressure to the bottle. So this is vacuum sealed in order to make it easier to draw out. That's all of it. Put that on the side and then we can just add our peptide into the nasal sprayer. Easy as that. Great. Now, like I've covered in other videos, this is 5 ml of a uh, saline solution, sterile. It doesn't have to be injection grade, but it has to be good enough for a uh, nebulizer or a uh, nasal uh, Oh gosh, the word escapes me. Uh, anyways. 
we're just gonna add that in here. Um, we're adding a section to our site where we uh, link to all these supplies from third parties that have them. If we don't, so we just add that into the bottle and we're good to go. So now what I'll do is I'll actually let this dissolve and uh, you know, don't violently shake it, but mix it. And I'll let that sit for about 20, 30 minutes and then I'll prime it and then it's good to go. And uh, this is probably good for about two weeks of actual use uh, if you were to use it every day with how much is in there. But uh, that's pretty straightforward. And uh, you know, there's some vendors that will sell these pre-made for $150 and uh, they're not putting a stabilizing agent in it and they're shipping it to you as a research compound when you can just get your own stuff and make these and like, you know, this bottle costs $30. Uh, obviously backwater, it depends on what kind you get. This is Hospira, these are about 16, but you can use this for a while. This sprayer was about $2, and these are about, gosh, 25 cents. So, you know, and these are, these are less than 20 cents. So as far as, you know, these are concerned, these, these costs, you know, less than $25, uh, you know, to make yourself minus the peptide. And uh, if you were to just pop a backwater every time, but yeah, this is under 50 bucks and uh, you know what you're getting because you made it. So uh, as always, if you have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comments or uh, send us an email. And until then, happy researching from peptidecritic.com and Randy the Research Rat.